see it every single day. So it becomes a part of you. Your awards. Don't be shy. Go ahead, show them off. Be proud so you can keep going. So the images around you should be idly related to nature, inspiring, motivating. My father, Grandmaster, Xi Jian Liu, creates what he calls qi art, or art of energy. And these are really visual meditations that help the clients bring in wealth, fame, positive connections, release troublemakers, release gossip, release any type of the conflicts in their life. So I'll show you some examples of those. So here's one called rolling coin waves. So you can see the waves of water, and on top of which are coins rolling, so coming towards you, and a large one in front of you and then built on top. So from the heaven, from your own life, and from the earth, all of the wealth comes to you. And you can see the colors of metals, golds, and water, which are also very productive for each other. This one is called double fortune. You have two layers of mountains supporting you. So if you lack support, you feel very unstable, you need twice the amount of the wealth you have now currently, because this, the one, one amount is not enough, too many expenses, then you want twice as many things to support you. So in this bedroom, we put twice as many mountains behind, and the color is green for growth. There was one called Rolling Coin Longevity Turtle. So often, the two have a balance. You make a lot of money, but your health goes down. You can't enjoy your wealth. Or you're very healthy, but you can't make any money. So this is to create that balance, to have the wealth come in and plus the health. So this one's placed in the bedroom. And this one's placed in a lobby called Nine Coins and Water. Nine represents fame, good reputation, and water brings wealth. So they wanted their good reputation to bring them the wealth. This is the office lobby. This one is called Secret Code of the Galaxies. And this imagery is to bring trust, passing exams, marketing, allowing you to become the most successful in your field. We must adjust our feng shui annually. Albert Einstein wisely said, the only constant is change. Nothing stays the same. When the seasons change, we change our wardrobe. When the years change, when our goals change, when our priorities change, we must change our homes accordingly to support those. So we must understand the different trends and different cycles globally. We must stay updated and we renew ourselves. One great metaphor I said, don't expect one rose to show me that you love me forever. You must maintain love. You must maintain health. You must maintain a family relationship. Good feng shui requires maintenance. So here's an example of what energies we have this year and what elements you can incorporate to enhance the energies of this year. Here's a floor plan and all the different directions listed around it. What I've listed is the general element and the colors associated. In almost all the feng shui books, they more or less just want you to put the same element. If it's northwest, it belongs to the white or metal element, they say, okay, put white and gold colors there. But that's neutral. It doesn't hurt you, it doesn't help you. It's completely neutral. And then sometimes it can be negative, it can make it too strong. But every single year, there are different energies or stars that enter to that direction. And you need to accent colors or change colors around to either neutralize a negative effect or enhance or activate a positive effect. So this year, the north direction has a star three and the accent colors you need to use in the north room relates to the metal element and the water element. So in the northwest and west, you need to accent with fire and earth. The southwest and northeast accents you need in the northeast metal and in the southwest fire. In the east and southeast, the accents you need in the east is water and in the southeast also water. And finally in the south, the accents you need for this year is the wood element. You are both the artist and the canvas. It's a very, very powerful imagery to see. You, you are creating your life every day. So it's a very, very important for us to know that we can draw from nature. We cannot turn away or go against nature. It is a very power, strong power. It's a power much greater than us. And we should turn to it. We should learn from it. We should gain from it. We have the power and ability to create environments that promote our well-being according to the laws of nature. We must remember who we are. We are originally outdoor creatures. And when we became civilized, we came indoors. 
And we lack all the natural energy. We lack this connection. We didn't get the natural air, the fresh sunlight, the absorbing the natural energy from the earth and the grass and the earth and the ground. When we're deprived of these energies, we become unfocused. We have diseases, we have illnesses, we have conflicts that occur in our life. A lot of abnormal diseases start to occur. We start to be attracted to negative things. Violence becomes glorified in the media. Dysfunctional families become a norm. These problems are a community's problem, a state's problem, and ultimately a nation's burden. So we need to reconnect. And feng shui is a very simple, very powerful way that any of us can do all the time. Bring the messages, bring the patterns, bring the colors to our lives every day. In the neurological sciences now, they've shown when a person practices piano in their mind with a score on a table, their brain is experiencing the exact same thing and benefiting the same way as if they were practicing for real on a live piano. So that says a lot. That means in our home, when we have a beautiful image of nature, when we can hear the sounds of water, when we can smell fresh air, and we close our eyes and we meditate on this, we are benefiting directly from these powers of nature to have better health, mind focus, be more productive human beings. When our mind is clear, what happens? We make evolutionary choices, meaning the choice we make is positive. We no longer want the bad things or negative things that hurt us because we are now clear, we're pure to ourselves and our hearts. But every single one of you can do this. We can share this information with your friends that all of us contributes to the evolution of mankind. I leave you with this. Thank you so much for your kind attention.